guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all well. So for today's video, I thought it'd be fun to just do a little get ready with me as I test new products. I'm actually about to head out to go to the mall to get my dad a birthday present for his birthday tomorrow and today's Sunday, so everybody's at home. So if you guys hear noises, um, it's inevitable. I just really wanted to film today and it's hard for me to find alone time in my house. So we're just gonna have to live with loud noises and hopefully my microphone is masking outside audio. So anyways, um, for today's video, I wanted to test some new stuff I haven't tested on camera yet. For the most part, some of them I haven't. So we're going to be testing the uh, Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I got this a few weeks ago uh, when I got my Sephora products too and I found this at Shoppers. So I really want to test these out. and. You guys will be able to see me using some stuff I um, showed on my last haul and some stuff that I reviewed. So yeah, I thought that'd be fun and we can just go ahead and hang out and chill together as I get ready to go to the mall. So hope you guys enjoy and please keep watching. So I'm going to turn on this mirror. My sister gifted me this mirror. Well, she handed it down to me and it has these lights. So I don't know if I should leave the lights on, but... Maybe not, because it's reflecting on me. But this is nice because the other one I was using was so tiny. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just get ready. So I'm using a Vichy Mineral 89 Eye Serum. This is actually a serum by Vichy, but they have uh, come out with the eye version. So I really wanted to try that out. I miss filming so much. I hope you guys are well. It's so sunny outside right now. It's amazing. I can't believe the power sun has like everybody's in a better mood when it's sunny outside it's crazy to me understandably though so so you guys i actually downloaded a um like another editing software it's called final cut pro and i am usually using imovie to edit my videos which took me not too long to actually learn it's very easy to navigate yourself around imovie and i think it's like great for beginners and iMovie is also free if you own like a, a MacBook or something like that. I think any Apple product, I think it's free. But um, it was great. I just feel like it's very limited in the stuff you can do. So I've been watching videos and reading articles about how great Final Cut Pro is. So I bit the bullet and bought it. It's actually something that you have to buy and it's a one-time fee. So that's why I was less hesitant if it was like monthly subscription I probably wouldn't have been down to do it but I think it was like $2.99 or $3.99 if I'm not mistaken and honestly I just thought that looking at videos like the amount of quality increase that I can do if I use that probably would make my videos much better so I was like oh it won't hurt to try it out but like I tried editing my last video on it and I was so lost like it took me an hour to edit the first two minutes so I was like no obviously no it's very hard to use I don't know why everybody says they're both easy to use I didn't find it to be that way at all I was so confused but um yeah so I don't know if I should just keep trying to use it I'm like trying to watch tutorials and stuff because it's very hard to maneuver I don't know maybe I'm just not like technologically skilled as much but yeah, I have to watch more videos and stuff, tutorials on how to use it. Because iMovie's good, but it's limited in stuff you can do. So I thought Final Cut Pro would be good for that reason. But now I'm like, why did I buy it? Because it's so hard to use. There's also one thing that agitates me about it. I don't know if it's called a cursor. Like the thing that you have over the videos when you're about to cut clips and stuff. If you guys don't edit videos, this is going to sound like gibberish to you. But um, that was so hard to use. Like, I don't know. I think I'm just a creature of habit and I didn't like it, but... So I'm using NARS Laguna Bronzer and my crease. Then I'm just taking another brown from my Revolution palette. Uh, this one here. And I'm just applying it on my lid. Nothing too crazy. So yeah, now I'm like, should I have not bought this? But you know, I can't really refund, be refunded on that, so I just have to learn how to use it now. Um, because I thought it would probably help the quality of my videos be a little better, I don't know. 
I convinced myself that it would at least. So next I'm going to go into the sunscreen. I've already um, like basically had my skincare base. So I put moisturizer and I did eye cream with you guys. I bought this really recently. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. This is SPF 40. I featured this in my last haul. So honestly, the past few days I've been forgetting to wear sunscreen. It's really bad. Uh, I don't ever forget to wear sunscreen. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. And the sun is out today. So extra important even if the sun isn't out you should be applying your SPF so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face I'm using the wet n wild uh, prime focus primer serum I love this stuff this stuff has been amazing Let's go ahead and blend this in So the foundation I am using is a little bit on the matter side, drier side, so I want to make sure I am well <laughs> primed because I need this makeup to stay on it's for a while, so. Next I'm going in with the Hard Candy um, Sheer Envy Color Correct Pen. This gets messy so quickly. But I like the formula. It reminds me of like the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer situation with the sponge. If anybody's ever used that. I cleaned this so much and it just gets messy again. So yeah, not fun. I'm going to go in with my uh, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH08 and just blend that in. Maybe I can put this mirror here. There we go. Hopefully that's better. Okay. Okay. Next I'm gonna go ahead and use my Milk Hydro Grip and Set and Refresh Spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up. And I'm going to spray Okay, and now for the actual prime uh, foundation. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage, and this says it's a lightweight and non-oily texture that feels like second skin, provides a long-lasting full coverage without mask effect, and creates an even complexion with high-definition finish for camera-ready skin. Dermat dermat dermatologically, <laughs> dermatologically. Oh my God. Dermatologically. Tested. That doesn't sound right. Anyways, it says to shake well. So, this says it's mattifying, water and sweat proof, and second skin effect. And hmm, I'm dry, but I moisturized the heck out of my skin today. So, we're gonna hope that those products work. I've heard that this is great too from so many people. So, I have this in two shades I have 0110 light beige, and I have 030 and sand beige. So, I'm gonna get a drop of both. So, it's such a shake well. Okay. I'm going to drop a bolt here. Okay. I use less of the 0301 just because I feel like... Actually, no, I used an even. Actually, okay. yeah, I used less of the 0301. Anyways, I'm going to go in with my sponge here. And I'm going to get rid of both. And I'm just going to go ahead and start blending. Not sure if you guys can see so I've used this already uh, this is not my first time using it and upon my first time using it I think I used too much and I put too much in one area which was not good and now I feel like I've kind of learned how to use it because you know I've gotten the opportunity to so feel like how I'm doing it now is probably best. I think before I took like too much and just put it in one area, by the end of the day, I looked like a clay statue. Like it was so <laughs> unappealing. But this is very full coverage for 
a drugstore foundation that provides beautiful coverage as you guys can see it covered most of my blemishes the finish is on the matter side so I feel like if you're a combo or even a little bit oily you would love this foundation I'm dry and I still like it but I just have to be weary of how to use it so yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep blending the key to making your foundation look flawless is to continue blending because when you're in like sunlight or good lighting you can see how bad your foundation looks so sorry about the little shift of light I just turned on the mirror's lights so I can see that I have this blended properly because there's been times when I've gotten ready in front of my mirror oh my god it looks so washed out and then I like go to the bathroom to wash my hands and I'm like oh god I'm not blended at all so that is the foundation I'm sorry about the light change there next I'm going to go in with my brows I'm using the elf uh, instant lift brow pencil and I'm just going to go ahead and comb out these brows so I have a few like video ideas planned out um, the other day I wrote them all in a notebook just to get like a clear idea like of what kind of videos I want to do so expect that soon I know why people get aggravated about the brows not being even now because mine are not even even at the stage so fun times <laughs> You have to apply the tiniest pressure with this pencil because it can get crazy so quickly which always reminds me to get a lighter shade but I forget so I don't know. Next I'm using the Essence uh, Clear Brow and Lash Gel and just running it through my eyebrows. Okay so next I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm going to use the Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer. I have this in two shades as you guys know I have four and five so I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of five first very little bit so I'm going to go ahead and apply this much this is a little bit for me maybe not a little bit for everybody else okay so like that then I'm going to go in with four and apply that on top and this probably does mix them together but I like them together so okay, I'm gonna go in with my lawless powder and we're gonna dab powder in here. Okay, and go ahead and blend the second eye. I just do this because my eyes will start to crease. So if I put powder on top of the creases, I'm just setting in the creases, which is what I don't want to do. Which, which is what I don't want is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. You know, I meant to use this on camera today, speaking of creases, because this has been really good for under eye creases, but I forgot, so I'm so smart. Anyways, <laughs> once that is done, um, I'm going to go ahead and work on the rest of my face. So I'm going to take the Rare Beauty Blush and Encourage. This is the liquid blush and uh, this thing makes me so nervous to use because it is no joke. So I'm going to go ahead and just do one dot right there. Go ahead and take my e.l.f. airbrush stipple and just blend. You guys can see that one dot goes a really long way. And I've just been loving applying uh, my blush and an upward motion like this I feel like it gives the appearance of a lifted 
face as opposed to how I did it before. So do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the other side. That's always hard because one side of the face always has a little bit more and it's like super scary, but oh, I think I'm getting the hang of this, this uh, blush. I don't know. Okay. One side always looks better. It's so annoying to me, but it does. Okay. So I have to keep on blending. So I feel like this is my good side for sure. I don't know what's up with this side, but it's like, no. So next time I'm going to take a brush like this, and I'm going to go ahead and take my Lawless Powder, and I'm going to set areas of my face that need to be set. So around my laugh lines, my chin, stabbing off the excess, and a little bit on my forehead. So... I used to set my whole like face or set first and then I would go ahead and put blush and that's why I think I probably ended up looking a little cakey where the blushes would sometimes lift, I'm not sure but yeah. And then lastly I'm just going to take some on my nose. The nose is crucial to set because of masks. This is where our masks cling to so see where makeup comes off first. So go ahead and set your nose properly. Now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and highlight. And I forgot my highlight. Cool. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and highlight. I'm using the Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter. And this is in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. That's what it looks like. I'm taking a ColourPop F10. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply the highlighter right here. And the excess of whatever's on the brush goes on the tip of my nose, so I look highlighted. I actually think the foundation shade, um, I don't know, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, is a really good match for me. Like, I bought that Clinique foundation and it is so yellow, you guys. I'm like wondering if I should go do an exchange. But the colors were so pink, so I feel like if I go down one, I'm just going to be pink. But this way, I just look really warm, so I'm just wondering if I should or not. I don't know. I've, like, returned. It'll be my third foundation exchange I'm doing, and I feel like the Sephora employees probably hate me, but it's, like, it doesn't match, you know? I'm, I don't know if I should just keep it for summer, but I don't know. So now what I'm going to do is take my Sephora um, contouring uh, brush. I am obviously not contouring right now. I'm just going to go ahead and take this brush and take a little bit of powder, just a little bit, and go ahead and set my under eyes again. I just do this just to add a little bit of like brightness at the end. Just wraps everything up in my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone. I really love like a highlighted brow bone. It's so strange. It looks so good to me though. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight excessively basically. And I'm gonna take the same highlight. I totally forgot to do this. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab a little bit of it and just highlight my inner corners. Like so. Let me just uh, go ahead and set my face. I just put down the brightness a little bit of the ring light I have. Hopefully that helped. Um, and hopefully it's not throwing off this whole thing. But I just went ahead and set my face. I'm just waiting for it to dry. I was going to put on lashes, but mm, I don't think so. So I'm just going to go ahead and do mascara. Good old mascara today. And okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes.
and there's two mascaras I've been loving. Um, as of recently, first is the Maybelline Sky High. This is amazing. Uh, I'm sure everybody already knows about this. Sorry, I was not even showing it. It's this one, and the second is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. So I'm gonna go in with this today. I love this. Essence has some of the best mascaras, you guys. They're so inexpensive. This is what the wand looks like. You can find Essence in Shoppers Drug Mart here. Uh, where else have I seen it? I've seen it at Superstore. I believe that is it. I have not seen it anywhere else in the store, as far as I'm concerned. But um, it's amazing. And I honestly think they sell Essence in drugstores in like UK and Europe, because I've seen it in Germany too. I think actually Essence is made in Germany. Yeah, it's made in Frankfurt, so or that's where the company is. Yeah, interesting. Because I think the first time I discovered Essence, I was actually in Germany. And then when I saw it here, I was like, oh my god. So yeah, they have the best mascaras. They have the best lip liners. It's such an inexpensive brand. They always have their own little display um, at shoppers and stuff. It's a rather small display, but they have a bunch of stuff. And like, I highly recommend trying out their products. I haven't dwelled too much into their like face products. Like I haven't used their foundations or concealers or anything, but I love their mascaras, I love their lip liners. Um, they're just amazing. So that is one eye. Just gonna see if I can show you guys, if you can tell. I have itty bitty lashes, so if you can't tell, it's not the mascara's fault. <laughs> so. Sometimes I do like to mix mascaras too, so I've used both, but um, yeah, it all just depends to be honest, what kind of lash day I'm having. So I've been trying to embrace my natural lashes, I haven't been wearing falsies as much, I was gonna put it on today, but I was like, eh, no, it's okay. Um, but... I just feel like it's uh, good to embrace your natural lashes, even if they're small and tiny. And I know me applying mascara is probably so scary, you guys, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go ahead and go on the other. If you ever decide to use, to do a second coat of mascara, wait till the lashes are like semi-dry and then go in and do it. Otherwise, you're just gonna create a bunch of clumps. I learned that through experience, so yeah. So... I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. Okay, next I'm going to go in and apply my Clinique um, Black Honey Almost Lipstick. Lipstick is amazing because it works as a lipstick and as a very good lip balm too. Even though you guys know I always prep with lip balm, this just makes your lips feel like butter. And they're so comfortable. So that is the makeup completed. Just going to show you guys a little zoom in of the foundation. So I look obviously glowy and that is all thanks to this setting spray this makes you look super glowy and yeah it's amazing if you have dry skin i highly recommend because if i was just using this matte foundation by itself which i have um before it can make me look really matte so this uh setting spray it does a lot to add to the glowiness and you guys did see me powder so yeah so that is everything i'm gonna go ahead and put my hijab on and i will be right back for an outro for you guys Okay, hi guys, I'm here back for the intro. I have my hijab on and I went with the most basic style I can possibly do. But I wanted to show you guys my outfit because I got the shirt and I think it's really cool. And you probably won't agree unless you're from Vancouver. But anyways, I just want to show you. So <laughs> it says Vancouver on it. I actually got this from Shein. So yeah, I don't know how it is on Shein, but it was. So I bought it. So that people know that I love Vancouver 50% of the time. <laughs> 
But anyways, uh, since we're already here, I thought it'd be cool to just do a little outfit of the day just to show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this because there's a huge mess in front of me, but we'll try. We'll try to make this work. <laughs> this is what I am wearing. I'm just wearing jeans, baggy jeans. I think these are called boyfriend jeans or mom jeans, something like that. And I'm wearing my Vancouver shirt, some rings, and I'm probably gonna have Converse on because I'm probably gonna do a lot of walking today um, since I'm going to the mall. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.